Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. This is still BVI Channel 1, where we tell you the undiluted truth. When it comes to politics in Nigeria, it has become officially a tug of war. Not just the tug of war you are hearing, it's about tug of war as branded by the Bala Blue. You remember? Fight for it. Grab it. Snatch it. Yes, sir. Along with you. Yes, sir. Dagaban. Mm -hmm. Snatch it. Take it and run with it. That is exactly what is happening in Edo State today. So, make some people go. As they go, they create vacancy. The ones who will feel beg, make it stay. We go beg them. The ones who will not feel beg, make them go. If we meet them for corner, we go beat them. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in past. I have I I saw a banner. I'm asking them, say, that banner where the Oluapata banner for Ring Road. I tell you there. Can you put a banner like that in uh, uh, Alausa, in uh, Lagos, in Kedah? You can put a banner of another party. For what you don't do there? For what you don't do I said, I did get here. Uh, there are things I cannot say here. But when I tell, when I tell Olukoga, say what you want to do. If take a day, look me. I say from the days of John the Baptist till now, yeah, the kingdom stop as violent and the violent take it by force. Who no no go no? Who to no go? Me, me. They are father. So. The Edo State Labour Party candidate is now the latest victim. Listen to this one. I will do my due diligence before I make any allegations. I'm a lawyer and I've been one for 30 years, right? During the primaries, same thing happened. Right after the primaries, my balls were being taken down all over the city, right? Now that INEC has lifted the ban on campaigns, we started installing our balls all over Benin City. I just returned from Lagos yesterday only for me to hear that boards that we have just started installing around Benin have been taken down again. There's a board at the Stadium Road at Kenzua Junction. Two-sided board. One side is an ad from another organization. One side is an ad from my campaign. Only mine was taken down. Now we are on the Kenwa Road by the Uniben uh, main gates. I had a two-sided board right here, taken down by the Oredo Local Government uh, Council. I sent a message to the chairman today, uh, Mr. Obaseki, who happens to be a brother or cousin or relative of the governor and I told him that my boards are being taken down. There is an individual in the Oredo local government called Charles Ega River. He's supposed to be a member of the revenue department. He's the one who sent messages to my billboard installers telling them to take down the boards. I was even told that he had the temerity to suggest that the board on Akenzua is a route that the governor takes regularly. So we must take my board down because the governor takes that route regularly. It is ridiculous. This is the kind of stunt that this government pulls all the time. We are going into a contest. The playing field should be level. Look behind. You can see a board belonging to the NNPP. It's standing. And it's not only this location. We have just received information from Ikobaoha local government that our board, the board that we just installed on Ramad Park, we must take it down. Meanwhile, PDP candidate, his board is all over the place. We are even told, I'm going towards Uselu Lagos Road now. Same problem. They are taking down my boards. And these things cost money, effort, and time. What are they afraid of? So, I am not here to complain. I don't complain. I'm here to issue a warning to those who are behind this. To Governor Obaseki yes. and his minions. They are ready. These local government chairmen who are the product of a sham election. Nothing happened on the 2nd of September. We know that they are illegal occupants of those seats. And they are coming now to pull down my billboards. Nobody has the monopoly of brigandage. Never. I'm not a pushover. Nobody will do this. They know. Nobody. That is why we are going from billboard to billboard. Of your notice, local government. The chairman is calling, say, Ubewe. Took down my board at uh, S&T. Four-sided board that we paid millions of naira for. Took it down and blacklisted the board so that the board could be, would not be given to us. I have similar incidents like that all over the city because they know that they are not the people's choice but pulling down billboards will not face me or my supporters this election is a referendum enough of this nonsense so i just want to put it on record that this is what is going on i will not accept it never i will not accept it never. so i have asked my, my my contractors 
to put back the boards. All the boards that have been taken that I've told them, and in the next 24 to 48 hours, the boards will be back up. And I dare them. I dare any of them try to it try it again. again. Election is about uh, contestation. You know, you have to contest an election to win. You see, uh, Gordon Obaseki is known for intimidation. You can see that there are other people around here. He didn't touch it. He knows that the man who is out here to win is Olumide Akpata. But this cannot intimidate us. But we are sending a warning, a very direct warning to the governor, that if you pull any people again, I personally will lead my squad and pull on the people because nobody has monopoly to bow on it. My name is Ultimate Eagles. We paid for this goal, all four sides. We paid over six million naira for this goal, all four sides. We put our ads, they took it down. We put it up again, they took it down. Then they now claim that they have blacklisted the board. Today, see, there's an ad there. Glen Village. There's an ad there. Where the boss speak, definitely you will surely know the, the honors that is in there. So when the, the very day that I watched this interview, I, I was convinced that this man he ring me well for the people. And I pray so shall it be. I see him here now. He's the man of the people. Without the people. Where you see, you know that this man is a very simple man. I'm running for the office of governor and I intend to win. With the help of the people. Yes. So we have to let the people know what who we are and what we are. That is what the whole essence. The law forbids the local government from doing what they're doing. The electoral law forbids them from doing what they're doing. They are trying to disadvantage me and my party. And we will resist it. We will resist it. I just want the public to know that this is what is being what was happening in Edo State under the leadership of Governor Godwin of Basek. And this will not be allowed to stand. Can you imagine? You see that? This one is coming from PDP. Of course, APC and PDP they are the same. You don't expect anything different. And that is what is replicating in Edo State. And you call that politics. That is no politics. And the people that are doing that, people that are being employed as these political talks, are the same ordinary people that tomorrow, they will start protesting for bad roads. Tomorrow, they will start protesting that their pensions are not being paid. They will start protesting that their schools are falling apart. They will start protesting and start la lamenting that things are hard. You think, say, Nigerians, get, they still get sense? But unfortunately, unfortunately, it is very few number of people that are being sponsored to put every one of us in trouble in Nigeria. Anyone you see supporting this APC and PDP, whatever, is either wicked or senseless. And that is the truth. Please don't join that bandwagon. Don't sit aside and act indifferent. Get involved. Speak up about this. Share these videos. Wake up the consciousness of others and let us not allow ourselves to continue being plunged into miserable life in the name of a government. Imposed misery. Let me just keep it at that. What's your take on it? Drop it on the comment section. Do you think the Labour Party is going to break the James as it is being done in Abia State? Today, they have a better government. Will, I, will Edo State be the next to follow? You remember, obedient movement is stronger in Edo State. Let's see what happens. And it is with you that this may happen. Let the best person and the best candidate win. Scrutinize yourself. I'm not campaigning for a party or whatever. I'm just asking, scrutinize whoever that is presenting himself to serve you. That's just my take. And that is the position of Good Governance Ministry, GGN. Bye-bye for now.